top of the glorious morning to you. We're just leaving Kappas Casing in northern Ontario, one of the northernmost towns. One of them. And we're headed down towards Sudbury. So from there, we're probably only going to get there after business hours today by the looks of it. I'd like to get there and unload before they close, but we'll see what happens. Flying down towards Sudbury. I've never been on this highway before. We're on Highway 655 here. I think it turns into 144 after Timmins. So we're headed south towards Timmins, Ontario from the 11. We're cutting across down to the 17 instead of going all the way around on the 11. That makes sense to those of you who are familiar with this region. Absolutely nothing here. No cell service, no civilization, no gas stations. Nothing. Just trees. I love trees. Especially when they're not on fire. Going through Timmins, Ontario here. How many of you are from Timmins? I think this is Timmins anyways. I assume it is. What other town would it be? I just saw a sign here that said trucks use right lane only. You know what's interesting? I find that strange. Because pedestrians walk on the sidewalk. Wouldn't you want children and pedestrians further away from big trucks? with a lot of blind spots and uh, a lot of weight, a lot of width and height, you know, wouldn't you want us in the middle? I don't know. That's just the way they do it. This is actually a pretty big town here. I had no idea it was this big. This is a pretty, this is, this is a city. The city reminds me a lot of Vernon, British Columbia, because I go through there more often. We're definitely not in British Columbia. We're way out in Ontario. We're on Algonquin Road, so if we're not in Timmins, you're going to have to correct me in my comment section, because I'm trying to find a sign somewhere that'll tell me what town I'm in. Nothing. If this is Timmins, I had absolutely no idea that it was this big. There's a lot of French here, too. Looks like a very old city. Like, uh, most of the city looks like it was built 1800s. North America standards, that's old. Got Tim Hortons off on the right there. That's all that matters. We've turned on to road 144 here from Timmins, Ontario down through to Sudbury. And uh, we found ourselves on a much narrower, much uh, less traveled road, it seems. Speed limit is 80 kilometers an hour here. And that's like 50 miles an hour, less than that. And we still got 287 kilometers to go down here about three hours worth of driving. Well, well at a hundred. So this will be more like three, three and a half, four hours of driving. So I'm not sure if we're gonna make it by the end of day today. I might have to deliver it in the morning. But we do get the scenic route today, that's for sure. Again, never been down here before. Very secluded highway, very few things down here. There's a logging truck, as you can see. Obviously, they got a lot of logging going on around here. Not very many homes. Not very much anything. Here we are. Diesel. Here we are. We're in Sturgeon Falls, Ontario, Canada. We have gotten two deliveries done today. That's what we wanted to get done. We'll be able to get all the rest done tomorrow and Friday. And then we have one delivery that we can do Saturday. Uh, 
if they're open. If they're not open, then we gotta wait till Monday. That would be unfortunate, but then at least I'll have a chance to do laundry, because I didn't get a chance to do laundry when I was at home, because I didn't have time. I was too busy setting up the campsite and whatnot. Diesel, you wanna do laundry for me when we get home? No, I do my own laundry. I have a system. What? Do my own laundry. So right over there, behind the fancy schmancy a &W, is a Timmy hose. Timmy Ho hose. You'll just have to trust me. It's there. I'm about to walk over there right now. Pick me up a good delicious coffee, maybe even a honey cruller. Motorcycles. I wish I had a Harley, really. I really do. I have a Honda CBR 500R, if you're wondering what I have. I like it, I really like it. It's really light, easy to get around, real agile. I love my bike. Sometimes I wish I had a Harley though. That guy is really, really ridiculously, ridiculously really excited for Tim Hortons, so I better go get it. Good morning, it's the next day. We didn't get much filming done yesterday. I wasn't feeling the best throughout the day, but I had a good sleep here. I'm feeling a little better today. Got my breakfast here. Raisin bran, so we're gonna continue yesterday's or today's vlog for you. A little bit into today, the next day, just to give you some more substance, I guess, so that it's not like a two minute vlog. So I'll just do extra vlogging today for you. So in the mornings, lately I've been having raisin bran. That's been my breakfast of choice lately, uh, along with my Daily vitamins. I found that since I've started taking a multivitamin every day, and uh, vitamins like fish oil, vitamin D and B12 and whatnot, that I have been feeling a lot better. I've had a lot of energy, a lot more energy, except for yesterday, of course. I, re I realize I'm contradicting myself. <laughs> I didn't feel as good yesterday, but on the whole, since I've started taking vitamins about a month ago, two months ago, I felt a lot better throughout my days. A lot more energy, um, all around more, more healthy, you know? Vitamins will do that to you. So don't forget to take your vitamins, at least multivitamins. I think everyone should take multivitamins. There's some controversy on it. Some people think, ah, it's just a hoax, it's a money grab. Maybe, maybe it's a mind thing. Whatever, if it's a mind thing, it's still working for me. I think I'm feeling better because of them. These are the multivitamins that I was talking about that I take. You just take one per day, only one. Sisu. There's many good brands, many good brands. I got this at, at Walmart, I'm pretty sure, somewhere, a while ago, and they last a long time because you only take one per day, right? They taste terrible, terrible. You're not supposed to chew them, okay? I don't chew them. I swallow them uh, using my the help of my Gatorade there. But still, for the few seconds that it sits in your mouth, they taste terrible. But usually, if it tastes that bad, there's usually some good qualities to it. So I'm in North Bay, Ontario here. Trying to wake myself up. We're gonna go and unload some product here in North Bay, and then we're headed down to Southern Ontario from here. And that's that. So let's get ourselves ready here. Let's get some work done. Looking for my customer. Turns out that uh, the address they had given was their old address. They're on the other side of town now in a new building. Good to know, good to know. So we're on our way to the other side of town. We went through downtown before already. I figure I'll take you with me this time so you can see it. Was I supposed to turn here? I was probably supposed to turn there. Mandy, why didn't you tell me to turn? Whatever, I can turn up ahead. Is your volume off or what's wrong with you? Why wouldn't you tell me to turn? Oh well. Now she doesn't know where to go. I see Highway 63 is coming up to me. Or I'm coming up to it, actually. It's probably staying in the same spot, I'm guessing, but. Wait, now it wants me to just go past 63 and straight through. Okay, well then I'll stay on this road. Make up your mind, Mandy. Just let me know what you're doing, all right? Stop changing your mind. This is North Bay, Ontario. We're right on the water. Not exactly on the water. The water's over to our left, about two blocks. I mean, this truck wouldn't drive very well on the water. Again, North Bay has surprised me. I didn't know how big it was. 
There's a lot of towns. Kilometers. Yeah. Then turn left on 17. Now you want to tell me. I'm already going straight. Why are you telling me to go straighter? Oh, I'll just keep going straight, okay? Good to know. It surprised me with how big this city is. Again, Ontario consistently surprises me with how big their cities are. You would never have guessed. We're on Highway 11 headed down towards the Toronto area right now and we're at a dead stop standstill around here. Which means that we most likely had an accident up here. I see some construction cones off to the left. But I'm going to leave you in suspense with this and end the vlog here. You guys have to tune in tomorrow to see what happened here. Could just be construction. Could be a big pile up. I don't know. But I've got to end the vlog. So I'll see you tomorrow. Anytime after 4 a.m. Central Time. Don't forget down below in the description. There's links to past vlogs of mine that I've done in the past. Up to two years ago. Very, very soon. I think next month it'll start showing what I've been up to on this day three years ago. Go check it out if you want to. I had an even bigger beard then if you believe that. If you don't believe it, go check it out. I'll see you then.